That's a good one. But we're going to jump on over to talk about The Dark Knight, Batman, the reboot coming to the DCU, courtesy of formerly Andy Muschietti, responsible for giving us the travesty that was The Flash. And now, according to reports, he might have been given the boot and or walked away. We don't got the full story here, but, um, boy, uh... I mean, if he has gone, it'll be a mutual, or they'll say it's a mutual thing. 100%. Creative differences and scheduling yeah. conflicts will be brought up, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you all know if I, he'll be gone going, I almost said Feige then, because it's forced to have it. It's uh-huh. like, Feige, no! Like, oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, James Gunn, James Gunn. Okay, <laughs> it's, we're we're talking about yeah. you now. Um, so oh, Yeah, it'll be, it'll be gun going like, why did I hire you? <laughs> I've already embarrassed so, myself saying the Flash is that the that's greatest. That's the interesting ever. part because if you remember, prior to them announcing the DCU with that whole little, you know, hey, we're in a hotel room, let's reveal yeah. gods and monsters. The entire slate that was like James Gunn and Peter Saffron came on board about eight weeks before the debut of Black Adam. They were like, look, we don't like any of these films, but the Flash is the greatest thing we've seen, and Andy Muschietti's going to continue to work on it. And then in the lead-up to it, they're like, oh, he's going to do Batman Brave and the Bold, where he's our man, we love his Batman. And then we see what he did with Batman and the Flash, and everybody's like, um, so that was terrible. Mm. So what now? And then we keep hearing, well, there's been talks, there's a stop-and-go effect, they're talking to others, there's other writers, and now it's like, this report comes out, and it's the first time where in two, three days now, James Gunn has not debunked it, but he's been online and debunked other things. And you're kind of like, yeah. well, <laughs> this is this is <laughs> if, telling. If I ignore it, it will go away. Yeah, yeah. It's... Huh. Um, yeah, he, he set himself up uh, real bad in this one, isn't he? Uh, like, I... I'm also kind of confused because James Gunn has now been on record. He doesn't like Tim Burton's Batmans. He doesn't like Schumacher's Batmans. He doesn't like Nolan's Batmans. And he doesn't like any realistic, gritty Batman. So that would presumably include the Batman, which he's never publicly talked about whether he likes it or not. So if he didn't like what Muschietti did, which was more comedic and uh, dumb, um, what does he want from Batman? I guess you could make the argument that he... Muschietti was doing uh, Keaton's Batman. Yeah. Right? So he it's not his version of Batman. So he's right, just following right. what was already established. Yeah. Obviously, he didn't do that particularly great because Keaton's Batman is not dumb enough to just be like, oh, I can't take it out. I'm just going to, you know, kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I forgot he does that till you just mentioned it. And I the only thing I remember that movie. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, you know, straight face just kamikaze into a ship with shields up. Like, cool. That was a thing they made Keith Batman wait, 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 with, with shields up, so it didn't do anything. Well, yeah, because he flies around, he shoots it, and he, he knows it's shielded. So he's like, "There's only one way I can take this out." And he just flies straight into it. It's like, mate, it's got a shield. On. It's not you, you just killed yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? I love it, yeah. man. Wow. And then they make you rewatch that moment about fifty times. Yeah, yeah, oh, they do. Wow. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's a choice. That movie made choices. D- this sounds like a movie that the next time I rewatch it, I'm gonna take double the edible dose and I'm gonna go flying into this thing, man. <laughs> I'm oh, a... <laughs> I, I look forward to the A and E story on that one. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, so I'll be real with you. If Muschietti is gone. I have no problem with it. This is one where I'm same, like, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Good yeah. call. No, it's one of those where, as I said, like he was doing Keaton's, but he did Keaton bad. Uh, I I'd, I'd like to see his take on his own Batman. Yeah. Yep. But you know, and I think he for what he was given to work with, he took that Flash into a slightly better direction. Mm-hmm. as a whole but the movie was just bad yeah so yeah it'll be i don't know if if he's gone fine but then it's the devil you, like you know better the devil you know 
Yeah. Because then who else are they going to get for Batman? You know, mm. not that there's a very tiny pool of directors out there or anything. But... Yeah. It's... Yeah. Um, that's. It's it's also up in the air right now. Um, mm. and like, and obviously we don't know if this is true or not. You know, we're going saying nothing is. It points to the more yes, it's true. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a trap. He's, you know, he's made his own bed. He's got to lay in it. But yeah, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I'm, I won't lose sleep over it. So that's no. kind of like, you, watch you know. Gunn would be like, no, I'm directing Brave and the Bold. <laughs> this is oh. my DCU now. I'm doing everything. I could Honestly, I could see it. If they can't get it, somebody yeah. like, screw it. I'll do it then. <laughs> Or at least just have Gunn do every first movie for everything. <laughs> yeah, you have to set the tone like, and the pace. Yeah. Like, All right, carry on now. But like, now, who wants this? 